Dear students, welcome to unit number 4. I thought before entering into unit number 4 and going directly to one of the concept which is called as sampling, let us try to have a brief introduction about what is the difference between population and sample. Dear students, you are aware, the first step of any statistical analysis we perform is to determine whether the data we are going to deal with is a population or a sample. When we are clear about whether the data on which we are going to work, we are going to collect it from a population or sample is the first part of any step in research methodology with respect to after the problem is finalized, whenever we want to collect the data. So, let us try to understand what is a difference between a population and sample. Population is nothing but collection of all items of interest to our study from, from where we are going to collect the information is called as a population. Population is generally written as or denoted as capital N. More precisely, the numbers obtained from population are termed as parameters. What is sample? Sample is a subset of population which is denoted by small n and the number if obtained is termed as statistics. Let us try to understand much precisely what do you mean by population versus sample. To explain this concept, let us try to have a simple example in front of us. Suppose, as a student, you were interested to carry out a survey for job prospectors in a particular university, means job prospectors for the students in a particular university. The first question that comes to your mind is, what is the population for this survey? Who would be the population for this survey? In this case, to be more precise, the population would be generally when we think would be students who are studying in the university on the day I am I would be carrying out the job prospectors. That is what generally you will feel into. So, you might think of collecting the response by just go, simply walking into the university and finding every student and collecting information. Is it right? Dear student, it is not. Because that is not the population. Population would be those students who are admitted to the university, who are not in the university now, but may be at home. Some of the students might have gone for foreign exchange program as of date they are not available in the institute some of the students might have gone for the conferences outside the university or state they are also not considered some of the students are part-time who may not be available on that particular date when the survey was collected as or termed as a population or there could be some students who are who have opted for a distance learning mode may not be included in the population. So, just merely going into the university and finding out would not help you and that would never define a right set of population. From this, I can conclude that population are hard to define and to observe. Let, let me put into very simple example. Wanted to carry out a survey of job prospectors in the university, trying to define a population now for us population would be those people who are those students who are in the university but if you want to rightly define a population population would cover those students who are also included but are out of university but are the part of enrollment of uni university are considered as population and hence i conclude here with a very bold statement that Population are hard to define and to observe. Populations will have those respondents from whom we would be collecting responses. Collecting responses from all the entities which 
become a population is very hard to define and to observe. Hence, we move a step forward and try to analyze that through by collecting information from sample. Reason? When we are going to collect the information from the respondent through samples would be easier to contact, less time consuming and less costly. Now let us try to understand what these samples are. In my first step, I went to the college as a part of survey. I went to a college and on, on entry, I found some of the students sitting in the canteen which is generally a preferred destination of the students in the college campuses. I went there and collected information from the people sitting in the canteen. Is the sample right? No, because I have collected information or I have filled the questionnaire from the students who are sitting in the canteen. Let me put into another important characteristic of sample. Sample is neither random nor representative. Sample is neither random nor representative in the case we have done. How? Let us try to justify it. If I say the sample which I collected, the sample through which I collected response in the canteen, can it be called as a random sample? A random sample is a sample which is collected when each member is chosen by chance. Here we went to a canteen and collected many of the members in the population were not involved or not added, not included in a sample. Hence here the random sample collected is not having, uh, having that each member is chosen by chance. Similarly, let us look at the second concept now. If you look at this diagram, the sample were included only those people who are sitting in the canteen. I have not included any person, any individual from other population who are out of the university, part-time learner, distance learner, people who have gone out for conferences, people who have gone out for the extend programs were not at all included. Means most people did not get a chance to be chosen. So is our sample a random? Just think of and we will try to understand the other part now. The second word which is related to a sample is a, re a representative sample is a sample that accurately reflects the population. What is representation? Representation is nothing but group of people but definitely not all students. In this case, I have collected information only through canteen. They represented a group of people but did not represent all the other students from the population. Hence, the sample which I have collected does not fulfill both the criteria. Neither they are random nor they are representative sample. That is what we need to put across. And let us try to so what is the best way by which I can collect the information? I can collect the information for sample directly going to the university people, asking them to give an access to the database and randomly choose the students for getting that survey fulfilled. From this, we can conclude in a very simple way, population is hard to define. Population is also hard to observe which means population is expensive as well as time consuming. Whereas sample is difficult at first but easy after some experience. You can learn to do it then it becomes economical and fast. Statistical test works with incomplete data. You are not expected to have all the data. In population we need to have all the data. That is what we need to understand the basic difference between population and sample. With this, I conclude the difference between population and sample. The measurable quality is called a, called a parameter and the measurable quality which we are going to choose from the population is called a statics. statistics. The population is a complete set. The sample is a subset of a population. Reports are a two representations of opinion. 
Repro reports have a margin of error and confidence interval. Population contains all the members of a specified group. It is a subset that represents the entire population. With this, I feel it makes an understanding of what is the difference between population and sample. Thank you.